Hey all, Steve from Guitar Niche here. Well, uh, I have a lovely acoustic <coughs> Seagull Entourage Rustic that I just uh, put some strings on, frayish, uh, and just tightened them up to pitch, but we're not done. Even, the, even though the guitar is nicely in tune, it's still not done because if I just maybe take a couple strings anyway I'll get to the point really really super the, 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 the point of this video is is string stretching how much should you stretch your strings the caveat here is uh, as much as is necessary I hate to say something like that but it depends on the instrument it really does okay but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take each string and you'll see I'm just stretching each one individually. I'm going along the entire length. Keep in mind, I have done this 10 million times, and I have a sense of how much is just enough. But you can copy what I do. I mean, it's it's not rocket science, right? So, bring that A up to pitch. That's my reference. Wonderful, back in tune. Except if I keep playing it, especially if I'm going to be doing some live stuff, you know, let's say, let's imitate some wear and tear over the next few minutes, and not quite there, is it? No, it'd be embarrassing. Okay, we don't want to be playing having any kind of tuning issues especially in a performance setting or just in general because it sucks anyway I'm going to carry on with the process so I stretch the strings as you saw and then I just went around the headstock here any string that has any great mass to it I'm just gonna pinch that wherever it transitions from a straight line to any kind of curve which is over the nut or around the post and down here at the saddle okay just push it seat it in make sure it's it's good to go give this another quick draw on the strings so that dropped a few cents so so our strings are now pretty well settled in I'd say on the in the grand scheme of things, they're probably 95% or somewhere thereabouts on, uh, uh, done. Uh, the only uh, things that we have to consider at this point are the effects of time, which the guitar will tend to, uh, over the next 24 hours, it'll kind of just do its own little kind of... and kind of settle in, because the pressure's been changed, things have been adjusted. Things like that, you know? And that goes with virtually any string change. Changing environments, etc., etc. So, but this is pretty, almost pretty much good to go, except I have this habit of going through the process at least three times. that E string you know a lot of that was from just taking the kinks out that's how important seating your strings is okay fractional just a just a slight warble there Check the pins are, are locked in good. Everything looks good. Action is great. That's a wonderful thing. So this is essentially play worthy at, uh, for now. If I was doing a, a live gig, I'd be like, ah, I'm going to have to be tuning this. I will be tuning this in the middle of a set because it's just the nature of the beast, you know. But for just a, a self enjoyment and, and playing around. It's good to go.
anyway, that's your, your quick uh, lesson on, you know, how much should you stretch your strings. On average, uh, that's pretty much it for, for virtually, you know, you know, most guitars. There's always exceptions, but the vast majority of guitars should follow that same process. And of course, you can fine tune things, you can stretch. If you're a bender, you know, like an electric guitar, you might want to bend those strings a bit uh, quite frequently around all your, your, your typical points. Make sure they're really settled in. G-strings on an, on an electric are notorious for, for being wrangly. Anyway, I will stop blabbing away now. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, like and subscribe. Read the description below. Lots of great resources there. There's freebies there. There's a, a book on, on action that I'm giving away. It's just PDF. Uh, 60 plus pages, 10,000 words or so. Good stuff. And as always, play loud. Have fun and have a great day. See ya!